and welcome back. Me and Squidge here. She doesn't normally sit in the back of my videos, but today she's decided she's going to. Are here to show you a few things that I have bought in the sales. As you guys probably know by now, I like my shopping and the December slash January, like after Christmas, Boxing Day sales have been in full swing for the past few weeks and I haven't actually gone on a massive shopping trip. I found it's really stressful and it's been so, so busy this year that I've kind of avoided it a little bit and just popped into like certain shops for a few things here and there, but I have kind of accumulated a big bag of stuff, which looks a little something like this and I'm going to show you guys what I have bought over the last couple of weeks in the sales and I've got some good bargains. The first thing, because it's at the top and the biggest and I want to get it out of the way, is this hair curler. This is from Mark Hill and it's the Bad Girl Glam Wicked Waver and it is one of the ones that has like a bobbly um, shape which I'm not gonna lie, it looks kind of dodgy. Uh, but I had never really been taken in by these before until I tried one of my friend's ones when I was traveling and it was really, really good. So I'm gonna see how this works out. I've been looking for a new hair color for a while because I have stuck with my Babyliss waving one for a really, really long time. But sometimes I find the waves it creates are a little bit like neat and I want something a little bit more kind of like that I guess, like <laughs> messy and relaxed and beachy. So this was half price, it was used from £60 to £30 I think and I also had some vouchers for boots so um, woohoo I got that. And then what else do I have in this giant bag of mine which has really annoying handles. Um, I also bought, I'm just going to pull them out as they come along, I also bought um, this Long Calm Hypno Star Duo. Hypno Star is one of my favourite mascaras. I mentioned it in my 2013 favourites as well. But I found this duo, which was £32. I'm not sure how much this is before it goes on sale, but originally they are £22 each. So I basically got the first one for full price and the second one for £10, which is pretty good because I'll definitely use these. They are like my favourite mascara at the moment and the packaging is just so girly and pretty. And then I also got, sticking to um, beauty bits and bobs, I also got this which is my favourite Rituals Honey Touch um, Body Cream. It's more of like a souffle I think but it smells so amazing and this was 30% off in Rituals. Rituals had like a weird sale on because obviously their Christmas stuff was on sale but they had a few um, things from their main line that were on sale as well. So this was 30% off, so it was reduced from, I think it was something like £15 originally, it was like £11, £12p or something like that. And then I also picked up a couple of things from the body shop because I had had a few of their Christmas scents. I bought the, um, is it Cranberry, Cranberry Joy hand wash and hand lotion and the smell is so good. So when I walked past the window and it was like, everything's 50% off from the Christmas line, I was like, oh yeah. And I got the Ginger Sparkle Shower Gel, which smells like ginger beer, it's so yummy, and the Cranberry Joy Shower Gel for three pounds each. So that is half the price they normally are. These both smell amazing. They're not that Christmassy. Um, so I feel like I can use them after Christmas. I can use, you can use Christmas stuff whenever, but I like those a lot. And if there is still a sale on, I know they had a lot of sets, um, and I was tempted to get the Cranberry Joy set with the body butter, but I just have so many body butters at the moment, I thought I'm not gonna use it up, so I was good and got shower gels, because I use a lot of shower gel. And I'm glad I use a lot of shower gel, I think everybody should. So that's it for the beauty bits and pieces, but I also picked up this, um, mini makeup bag. It could be a pencil case as well, um, I guess. The shape of it is quite pencil case-like. But I got this as a makeup bag to keep my bits and bobs in, in my handbag. And I'm not gonna lie, i would had my eyes on this, um, for a while. I know it's very Christmassy, but I just love it so much. It's from Ted Baker, and it's their Christmas one. So it has a polar bear and a penguin, actually has two penguins, and a robin. And they have, like, little Christmas hats on. It's so cute. And yes, this was reduced from £19 to £13, so not the best reduction, it's like 30%, but still, I couldn't resist. It didn't come in my stocking, so I thought I'm going to treat myself and buy this. And then I also, another thing I'd had my eye on before Christmas, from that was from John Lewis by the way, another thing I'd had my eye on before Christmas were these rusty keys. Now, they're one of those things that I saw and I was like, wow, these are really cool, I want them in my house. I don't know where I'm going to put them or what I'm going to do with them, but I just think they're awesome. They are giant rusty keys. They have no use or purpose other than decorative and I got them in the sale. They were originally £12 and they were reduced to £6. So I thought, I just couldn't resist. Maybe they can hang on the wall or something in the background of my videos. 
What do you think, guys? Let me know where you think I should put these, because they are random, and I know it, but I really love them for some reason. And then last but not least, for sale shopping, I went to Zara. I love the Zara sale. The first thing I got wasn't actually in the sale, though. I just kind of spotted it and thought, I love it. It is this necklace. I wore it in one of my videos last week. I should have worn it with this, actually. Um, it is quite gothic looking, but also very bling and girly at the same time. But it has like spikes and gems and chains and gems and spikes and chains and more of them. Um, I really like that. It wasn't on sale. It was £30, which is quite a lot of money. But I will wear it a lot because I love my big necklaces. Love them. And then I did get this bracelet set, which was on sale which consists of, it's hard to show you actually because I don't have them on, I should just put them on. It consists of four bracelets, but they all came together. They're actually all separate bracelets. So there's three chains and then one bangle. And I just thought these look really cute. They're quite um, like rockery, they're quite edgy looking, but I really like them all together and they were reduced from 16 pounds to 12 pounds, I think. So not a massive reduction, but I hadn't actually seen them when they weren't in the sale and they just caught my eye and I thought, quite nice, I'll have those. I'm gonna put them on actually. So I put them on, let's do it. That's what they look like on, so like really chunky and I like them. I actually like them with this top as well. And then the very last thing I got from Zara and the only clothing item which is unusual for me, sometimes I feel like I'm in the mood for clothes or in the mood for accessories. Obviously the past couple of weeks I've been in the mood for beauty and accessories, but I did pick up this one top which is stripey. Um, I, this just really caught my eye actually and I, stupidly I didn't try it on in the shop. This is a small. Um, and the body fits fine, but the sleeves are freaking tiny. They have no stretch in them at all. So you have to like, <laughs> maybe I'm just getting chummy arms, but seriously, uh, my, the arms on tops aren't normally a problem for me, but these are tight. So if you spot this, definitely get a size up than you would normally get because it is not stretchy at all. It's from their wool collection and, or W and B collection. I thought it was wool. Anyway, I think it's a wool top, so that's, hence it's not stretchy. But what I really like about this is the fact that the stripes don't go all the way across. Sometimes horizontal stripes can be a little bit unflattering, but this is really nice because it has those black panels at the side, so it makes you look a bit narrower than you are, and it does the same on the sleeves as well. And then it has black at the top of the arms like that. So I just thought it was quite unusual. And I wore this on... Um, it wasn't New Year's Eve, but we had a dinner party just before New Year's Eve and I wore it for that with like a black skirt and I think these, this jewellery and the necklace as well, I wore it all in one go um, and it looked really really nice so I like this a lot and I think I'll get a lot of wear out of it as long as it doesn't shrink because then there's no, no chance of getting the arms on but I like that and that was reduced, I'm not sure what it was reduced from but I know it was down to £15 so it was probably 22 or something like that. So that is it for my sales haul, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Squidge obviously found it a little boring, she is a uh, snoozing in the background there but let me know if you guys have found any particular bargains in the sales this year I always love to hear about different bargains and sales going on and also if there's anywhere online that is really good I found normally I'm really good at online shopping but I found that this kind of sale season the reductions haven't been that amazing so I'm kind of waiting out to see if anything goes down a bit more so let me know if you guys know of any amazing sales and I will see you in my next video which will be on Friday bye guys be a much much requested New Year's resolutions and I'm also going to be throwing in a little bit of a haul as well when I was in the States.